All right, there's a data table listed, and it says the data table below lists mass and speed for four objects. And the question is, which two have similar or the same kinetic energies? So objects that are moving, hey, they're all moving, they all have speed. Objects that are moving, objects that are moving have Ke. We know Ke is one half m v squared. So we can perform computations for each of these. Let's do them independently. This is brute force. So the kinetic energy for object A is one half times its mass, that's one kg, times its speed squared, that's four meters per second quantity squared. Four squared is 16 divided by two times one 16 times 1 divided by 2 is 8 joules. Let's write that there. Let's do the kinetic energy for B. That's 1 half times its mass, 2 kgs, times it, the square of its speed, that is 2 meters per second, quantity squared. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, divided by 2 is, or are 4 joules. The kinetic energy for C is one half times its mass. That is one half times, oh, one half times the square of its speed. Four one half kgs, four meters per second quantity squared. Four times four is 16 divided by two is eight divided by two. Oh, it's four joules. I think we have it, but we'll just finish what we started. The kinetic energy for D is one half times the mass, four kgs, times the square of the speed, one meter per second, quantity squared. One times one is one, times four is four divided by two is two joules, or are two joules. So we have B and C that have similar kinetic energies. A brute force approach, but it worked. Have a great day.